is Westminster Abbey. We finally made it. Westminster Abbey. Wow, it's where the king was coordinated at. All right, we are walking up towards the front of Westminster Abbey. <laughs> it's really tall. <laughs> And then I think we're gonna go over here to it looks like there's an Abbey shop over there, like a gift shop on the right. We'll stop in there first before we try to get into the Abbey. But it is really, really tall, that's for sure. That's really cool. We weren't allowed to take photos inside the gift shop, but I was able to take a picture here outside of King Charles. And also there is a replica of the coronation chair in one of the windows that I was able to take a picture of. Now this is the uh, main entrance into the church. Now, if you're sightseeing, you won't go in this entrance. There's another entrance around the side, which I'll show you shortly. But I wanted to show you the main entrance. So if you're going for a church service, this is where you'd go in. All right, we are inside Westminster Abbey. You'll see many things like the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and the grave of Sir Winston Churchill inside Westminster Abbey. Now, the Abbey has a long, long history. In fact, it was actually built about a thousand years ago. So you can just imagine inside what has taken place. There have been 40 coronation events. There have been 18 monarchs that have been buried inside. It's held 16 royal weddings. So the history of Westminster Abbey is just really, really amazing. And just something to really take in when you're visiting here. The Abbey is also the resting place of the coronation chair. Wow, it was so cool to see this chair. I mean, this chair dates back to 1296, and every monarch has sat on this chair during their coronation. It was so cool to see King Charles sitting on this chair just recently. Wow, and then if you notice, when I zoom in, and you might have noticed this when you watch it on television, you can see all these like uh, carvings. It looks, I'm not even sure what that is, but it looks like people have carved their name into the chair over the years. But wow, a chair that's over 700 years old, really cool. Now I wanted to tell you that the cost of actually visiting inside Westminster Abbey like all these people are waiting to get in outside. It's about 33 US dollars to get in. And you can see by looking at these photos I took, there is a huge, huge crowd waiting to get tickets and waiting to get inside the Abbey. And if you wanna save some money and some time, you might wanna do like we did and just find out what time the services are that day. We are right across the street. Westminster Abbey. You can see Parliament here. As I pan around. Then of 
course, the fabulous Big Ben is right here. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the statue of Sir Winston Churchill. But we're having a great day here in London. Hey, I just couldn't tell you how excited I was to see Big Ben today in London. Wow, it was just, just such a highlight. And to be able to tour Westminster Abbey, uh, it was just a great, great day in London. So please take time today to like this video, uh, take time to subscribe to my channel, and also just stay tuned. I'm going to be continuing to post videos here from London, and hopefully uh, it'll make you want to visit this city because it is a beautiful city. It's very easy to get around. Looking forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.